Thanks a lot, Carrie. I'm here at Fashion Square, and behind me is the Carmack Theaters. But let me put it to you this way. The big question everyone kept asking me today, and we kept asking them, do you think the same thing that happened in Lafayette, Louisiana, could happen right here in mid-Michigan? And what are the results? Well, really, realistically, we can't answer that question because that's unpredictable. But one expert put it to me this way. If we take care of the proper procedures, we'll be in a position to handle it better. Uh, my feelings are if you open the place to the public, uh, you should have some type of plans in the effect of bad things happen to minimize that impact the best you can. Thomas Meinsberg is an expert on building safety, and he's a former police officer and now the president of Critical Incident, a private security firm, and he says the shooting inside the Louisiana movie theater last night was just another sign of the ever-changing landscape of violent and gun crimes happening in public places. And he has this recommendation. I think be proactive if you're if you're opening your building no matter who you are not only movie theaters but even malls and things like this if you open your building to a large amount of people have a plan in place let your employees know what to do because anybody walking through there that doesn't have any type of this knowledge they're gonna look to people they're gonna look to security they're gonna look for managers and stores what do I do to survive this and if we both get that blank look on our face and they look bad it's gonna be a bad day David Demers is a licensed gun owner and he's not on guard about the open carry laws in Michigan am I concerned about uh, people, if I saw somebody walking in here with an open carry gun, no, I wouldn't be. Uh, I'd be aware of it, and I'd be conscious of where that person would be all the time. But uh, most gun owners are very responsible. That's what I found through the years. And, uh, and there, but there are some who get access to weapons who should not have access, and there are not enough checks and controls in our system to be able to prevent those individuals from getting access to guns. So once again, we have to be alert. We have to be cautious and make sure if we see anything suspicious to alert officials and let them know. Reporting live in Saginaw, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM TV5. Ronnie.